Good evening, everyone. Today, I'll be sharing my prediction for the 2023 GC O-Level Physics paper. Let us review what was tested last year. In paper 2, section A, these are the topics and concepts tested, including kinematics, definition of velocity, vector quantity, graph interpretation, and calculation of maximum height from velocity time graph. The first question focused on basic concepts and definition with some applications in kinematics. Next, weight, pressure, and density appear in the second question, followed by free body diagram, labeling of the forces, and vector diagram, followed by work done, GPE and KE calculations, the concept of energy loss due to work done against friction was accessed. Brownian motion was tested. In a topic of light, only critical angle and TIR, which stands for total internal reflection, was accessed. This was followed by ultrasound involving calculation of speed and some knowledge on EM wave. The last question of session A is on electrostatics, where students are to explain how induction took place and explain the movement of charges. In session B, the database question is on wave, where students need to compare between longitudinal and transverse wave, where they need to compare between P and S wave. There are some calculations involved, which needs them to use the speed equals to wavelength times frequency equation, followed by our most popular topic, electric circuit, which appeared every year. The concepts tested were variable resistor. How does it vary the resistance? And hence, the total resistance of circuit, which affects the distribution of current in the parallel circuit. The relationship between voltage and the resistance were explored in this question where students are to sketch a graph to show how voltage varies with changes in resistance and some knowledge on potential meter. This was followed by an either or question. One is on electromagnetism in circuit breaker, a very familiar question that appeared in many school papers, fuse rating, and a question on heat capacity calculations. The next question is on DC motor, how it works and how induced EMF is produced and its direction with relation to Lenz law and calculation of power and combined effective resistance. So in summary, these are the popular topics tested in 2022 paper two, vector quantities, kinematics, weight, density, pressure, Vector diagram, free body diagrams, work done and energy, Brownian motion, critical angle and TIR, ultrasound calculations, EM wave, electrostatics wave, electric circuits, heat capacity and fuse rating, electromagnetism, electromagnetic induction and calculation of power. My own prediction for 2023 is not meant to be exhaustive. So... I may not be 100% correct. Please don't take it as it is. You still need to revise every single topic and concepts as much as possible and make sure you grasp the concepts and are able to apply the concepts correctly to the questions. Make sure you read the questions very carefully, underline key terms and words, and explain the phenomenon or observation using important terms so that you will not lose precious marks. Okay, make sure you read between the lines very carefully. Sometimes you may be misled or misinterpret the question. I will predict vernier calipers and micrometer screw gauge because this will be the last year, this concept to be tested. And some questions involving measurements uh, and prefixes maybe. Yeah, I didn't include them because they were already tested two years ago but we never know how they will test. So get exposed to the chapter one, the question that didn't appear last year. Measurement or period, uh, it could be a different way of measuring. For example, in some years, they 
have a question on someone pulling a machine or someone doing push up or someone doing uh, running up the stairs. Okay, that can also be used to calculate period. Dynamics, kinematics, I put it very general. So that could be a question on resultant force, Newton's law. Okay, just take note of that. Turning effects of forces, it was not in any uh, paper two. So there's a high chance that this concept will be tested this year. Inertial, this will be the last year this concept is tested. This is, uh, no. I'm sorry, this will still be tested, but it has not appeared for some time. Pressure of liquid doesn't appear last year, so take note of that, as well as some questions on energy, like work done, or even power, etc. Stability, types of equilibrium. Temperature, this is really, really the last time this topic will be tested this year on calibration of thermometer and thermometric substances, like how thermocouple works, how thermistor works, okay? Please check out, all right? Boy's and Child's Law of Gases, how temperature or volume affect pressure, or how pressure is exerted by gas in terms of particles' motions and collisions between each other. For example, if the temperature increases, the particles gain higher kinetic energy, move faster, collide with the walls of the container at a higher frequency, Okay, hence there will be larger force exerted per unit area, which generates higher pressure. Okay, so the complete concept should be when the particles collide with the walls, the walls also exerted a force with the same magnitude back to the particles. All right, so that will actually generate pressure when we take the force generated per unit area. Transfer of energy was not tested at all. So please take note, this will come out. Like this time around, focus on lengths again and some questions on reflection and refraction. Now we have sound. I'm still predicting that some questions or maybe no question come out from sound. Calculations, graph, how sound was propagated and how pH is affecting the affected by the frequency and loudness affected by the amplitude. Ohm's law, ohmic and non-ohmic conductors, potential dividers maybe, input transducers, LDR and thermistor, how they work, how would they affect the overall resistance with increase in temperature or increase in light intensity, go and find out. Cost of electricity maybe, dangers of electricity, this time around they may talk about earth wire, which they never test, or just talk about the tripping plug. Magnetization and demagnetization, temporary and permanent magnets, or just draw magnetic fields. Huh? Yeah, as I mentioned here, forces on beam or charged particle. This was not tested very frequently over the past 10 years, but we never know. It has not appeared last year and a year before that. So let's see whether it will appear this year. Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction as well as Lenz Law, although it was tested slightly this year, sorry, last year, so it may appear. Transformer, step up or step down, and one more I think is the uh, power loss in transmission wire. Why the transformer need to be a step up one before this current was passed on to the wire is to reduce power loss due to Joe heating, something along that line. AC generator, CRO, and in the interpretation. Lastly, I will talk about the prediction for paper three. It's a bit harder to predict um, because we never really know what exactly they will come out. Physics experiment can be a bit more diversified compared to chemistry, anything under the sun, okay? But I'm very sure that electric circuit remains a popular topic. Lah. Every year we all fail, we have electric circuit question, but we never know. Maybe this year there'll be no electric circuit question. So, I'm not betting on this. So don't be surprised if the practical paper has no electricity or it could be just a planning question on that. Okay, it, will be a, it may be a shock. Uh, there has been a some time where topics on wave, light or sound is not tested. It has been a while. So let's see. Let's pay attention to this. Thermal properties. Uh, yes, 
Okay, maybe this time around there will be some calculations involving uh, delta T, MMC delta T or ML because um, we never know whether they will do the same thing like two years ago where they actually heat up something and measure the change in temperature. And of course, mechanics is still a popular topic uh, to, to select. So either three practical tasks with one planning or two practical tasks of one planning. Last year was this. So it could be this again. I think the trend is moving towards this so that they can actually assign more tasks of very standards or they can assign more tasks of greater variety. So they are able to test students across different skills and competencies. I think they are trying to move towards here as I observe in chemistry and physics. They are trying to access students on a wider variety of skills. Yeah, perhaps it's for better assessment of the student's ability and practical skill sets. Okay, so that's about it. Wish you good luck. Please do not take this as the Bible or as the absolute law. Okay, there will be some discrepancy. I'm just trying my best. So what my advice is, whatever that came out last year will not come out again. I mean, in terms of the presentation of the questions, not in terms of the concept. So it could be critical angle tested last year, but it doesn't mean that it will not be tested this year, but it could be a different form, you see. So they may have a question that uh, asks you to talk about other applications and not the one this last year on optical fiber. Last year on was on optical fiber. This year one could be a different applications, like a glass found in the in a in a car accident scene that appeared a few years ago. All right, so that's about it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself listening to this, and please subscribe to my channel and share this among your friends. Thank you.